Hey everyone, it's Wade Collar and today we're making tiramisu. This is a simple make ahead recipe and you're gonna fall in love with it. So let's get started. We're gonna start with the zabayone and for that we need to separate 6 egg yolks into a heat proof bowl. Add 150 grams of sugar, grab a whisk and place the bowl over a double boiler. Make sure that the bottom of the bowl does not touch the water. Whisk the egg yolks until the sugar dissolves completely and the eggs reach the temperature of around 60 to 65 degrees Celsius. This process pasteurizes the eggs and makes them safe to eat. Remove the bowl from heat and using an electric mixer beat the egg yolks until they are thick and creamy. This might take up to 6 minutes. Once our egg yolks reach the desired consistency, set aside and let them cool completely. Now let's prepare the mascarpone cream. Place 500 grams of mascarpone into a large mixing bowl, add 2 cups of heavy cream and beat those for a couple of minutes until it creates soft medium peaks. Now pour the zabayone into the mascarpone mixture and fold it in using a gentle rotating head movement until well blended. Now it's about time to assemble our lovely tiramisu. We're gonna need 2 cups of espresso that is cooled down to room temperature. Because I'm gonna give this cake to my kids, I'm not adding any alcohol to that and I'm also using decaf espresso capsules. Also we're gonna need a 22 cm baking pan and about 30 lady fingers. Quickly dip each lady finger into the coffee and arrange them on the bottom of the pan breaking the lady fingers in half as needed to fill the gaps until you get an even layer. Spread half the mascarpone mixture onto the lady fingers in one even layer. Repeat the process with another layer of lady fingers. Spread the remaining mascarpone mixture and smooth the top. Refrigerate the cake for a minimum of 2 hours. Now let's whip some cream for decoration. In a medium bowl, combine 1 cup of heavy cream, 3 tablespoons of vanilla pudding, and 2 tablespoons of powdered sugar. Whip until stiff peaks form. Transfer to a piping bag, decorate the cake by piping small mounds all around the top. You can skip this step, but it will give the cake a magnificent look. Now dust with cacao powder and enjoy! Hope you guys love this video and if you did hit that like button make sure to subscribe and i'll see you next time
Bye for now.